What's up, YouTube gods and goddesses out there? It's your boy Mike from Duck Walk Professional. We're out here in the yard with the little zebra guy putting together his pool over there. Get a head start, jump, splash into the summertime for the boys. Yep. Can I help? Yeah, because I need someone to untie How am I supposed to film and help? <laughs> there you go. boys we're out here got this uh, pool blown up with air use the little Bostic air compressor little pancake compressor over there to fill it up it took about 15 minutes and uh, now we're filling it up with water we'll see how long that takes and uh, see how bad it messes my grass up all right this is the pool that uh, we're rocking out with the end tech uh, for sixes age is six and up it's 103 inches by 69 inches by 22 inches and uh, let's look at some of the safety warnings uh, no diving or jumping shallow water hmm well that doesn't sound like very much fun I had to I had to borrow some of those hoses for the side job that I had. I had to take that hose and the hose off the side. What are you gonna do? Get in my pool. Yeah, but it says no jumping in it. Alright, that's enough. Gonna... That's I enough can't... what? There's like barely any water in there. Okay, I don't want to run this. But that's the All right, we got the second uh, hose added in now. We got a hot and a cold water in there, so we're gonna make uh, make some nice bathtub water in there. What's our fall in? <laughs> Who taught you that? Yeah. Who did? Yeah. What are you doing now? <laughs> Can I sit there here? Huh? Can I sit here? Now whatever you do, don't piss in there, okay? Because you don't piss in the same water you play in, do you? Alright, so according to these instructions, we have to assign an adult to be responsible for watching children in the pool. Give this person a water watcher tag and ask that they wear it the entire time they are in charge of supervising children in the pool. If they need to leave for any reason, like to take a piss, ask this person to pass the water watcher tag and the supervision responsibilities to another adult. So who's going who's gonna to take the water watcher tag and be the responsible one? If anybody's interested in getting one of these pools, they were on sale at uh, ShopRite. They were $15 at the ShopRite in Apsikin, so really you can't beat it. You know, 15 bucks, building some quality time and memories with the boys. Yeah, but how am I supposed to, to uh, vlog if I don't have my phone in here? You don't need it because the phones are yellow. Huh? Because the phones aren't allowed this year. Phones aren't allowed? Why not? Because you can't take pictures of people or take a young kid or do anything. Just sit here and, and do everything you like to do. Well, what if I like to use my phone and video record? So that is okay too. 
All right, boys, we're almost about pulled out here. I think the little zebra had a little bit too much playing around. You're going to have a good nap this afternoon, I bet, now, Hi. huh? You even got Tigger Boy over there laying on the ground. So what's the answer, Zebra? What are you doing over there? I'm um, swimming. You're swimming? Are you, are you stunting like your daddy? That's a what? <laughs> Here, flush this out. That's one time. Alright, you got it, you got it, you got it. Putting the smoker out for the boys. <laughs> Time to pull the drain. No! 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 Come on, bud, it's time to go up now. I am not all done. It's time to go up now, come on. I'm not done. We can come back out later and play. You gotta get dried off and go upstairs now. Come on. Oh my god. All right, come on. Let's be a good boy and listen to your daddy and Uncle Mike. And maybe we can flip it over and watch the big wave come out. Oh, that sounds like fun. We should do that in slow motion. Come here. It's going to be chilly, bud. Come on. Can hurry, hurry. That? Yeah, hurry. Come on. That's a good boy. And you do it now. All right, boys. The claim is we are going to flip the pool over and make a little bit of a big wave, and I'm going to try and get it in slow motion for the boys. So we'll see how this works out. The claim is now we're getting it deflated, stomping it down, getting ready for nap time. Now we got to roll it up. Come on. Come over here. Should I be rolled up? No, you want to get rolled up in there? Yes. And then you'll never come out again. But after it's rolled up, then I'll give it this. Hold on, bud. Hold on. You don't want to pop it. Pop what? Pop your pool. If you hit it hard enough, that's what will happen. See how we're forcing all the air out? You're a big help there. Alright, come on, let's roll the rest. Yeah, let's roll. Stop smacking it. You don't listen very well, huh? And we're all done, and I guess that was there for like about two hours, and the grass doesn't look too matted down or messed up, so I say that's a go, as long as we can get it cleaned up like that. All right, now the next step in the madness is to get all these uh, hoses uh, reeled up. So it's good to have fun, but then once you got to clean up the shit afterwards, that's when life gets real heavy, real fast. Zero to 100, boys, real quick. What's your, what's your claim in here, Mom? Working hard? Yeah. So what's your claim? What are you looking for? I'm looking for that. I'm looking to see what else I have. I also think I have... You know, a color, since he pulled up their steps over there, battle. federal the blue, there was about half a gallon. So what, are you claiming it's paint for the boys to use, or what? Yeah. What are you helping Uncle Mike do? Um, the old corn. Yeah? How are you making out? Good. Good? Yeah? We're getting some corn peeled. We got the little fire going. The boys are living the dream here, enjoying life, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was helping you. You were helping Uncle Mike? Here you go, Nona. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Michael, a sharper knife? I'll take a sharper knife. We got a wonderful meal here for the boys. We got some nice London broil there, and Grandma made some nice scalloped potatoes, and we're living the dream here for the boys. Check out that plate, that London broil. Got some good Brussels sprouts. Those beautiful scalloped potatoes. And of course, we gotta go with the CL to wash it all down. All right, all right. I have a couple more bites, then we'll get it. But if I have to put it in the freezer, I'll go do it. So the, the story was told from mm -hmm. a young woman who had a literary degree, but she also had a degree in biology. Oh. And what got her interested in this was that her uh, uh, her father became very ill when she was a teenager in high school, Michael. And and he had samples taken from him. So when she found out, she went and interviewed the family. And Deborah, who was the uh, the youngest child, was played by Oprah Winfrey. And the oh. other couple actually abused the children. Oh. And then the older, the oldest brother and his wife actually took them in at that point. Mm -hmm. But they had already been, been abused. He was a baby. Yeah. The one that was maybe, the one most that was definitely. Who turned out to be 